Hey everyone, today we're talking about the Dart Analyzer's default list constructor diagnostic. This diagnostic is produced when the default constructor for the list class is used when null safety is enabled for that file. So what does that look like? Say we want to create a list of integers. Let's call it numbers. In the past, we could have used this default constructor by saying list, int, and parentheses. Before, we would have had an empty list of integers. But as you can see now, we are getting an error, a diagnostic. If we have our order, it says the default list constructor isn't available when null safety is enabled. The reason why this is, is because in the past, this constructor also has an optional positional argument, which accepts a starting length, a starting size. This introduces a problem because in the past, int could also be null. So this would have created a list of insurers with a length of three with three null values in it. But now int cannot be null without adding a question mark. So they had to remove this constructor in Dart 2.12. So if we have code like this though, how can we migrate it to null safety? How can we fix this diagnostic? Well, there's a few ways. The most simple case of creating an empty list, we can now use a list literal like this. Specify the type and use the square brackets to indicate a list literal. We can fill this with whatever values we like. And if we want to keep that initial behavior of starting with null, we have to switch the type to nullable by adding a question mark. And now we can fill in three nulls. This is great but and feasible with only three nulls, but what if we wanted a starting size of 50 or 100 or even more? We don't want to write out null 50 times or whatever starting value we want. So how can we use this? Well, there are a few name constructors on the list class, such as filled, which allows us to specify a starting length and what we want to fill it with. In this case, since the type isn't nullable, we can't specify null here. You'll see we get an error, but we can specify zero. So now we would have a list of three values, each of them being zero. If we do want null, we can make the type nullable and specify null. But be careful in this situation not to remove the type as this constructor would then assume the type's null and you, would, you wouldn't be able to add integers to here because it would be a list of integers created. And this can be whatever size you want. For example, if we want a list of 100 nulls that, um, with a type of int, uh, nullable int, we could say 100. Another constructor option is the generate, construct, generate name constructor, which also allows us to specify a length then accepts an anonymous function, which passes an index, and the return value is what you want, what value you want to be in that index of the list. So for example, if I want to double the index and store that in the list, I could say index times two. So now we would have a list where in the zeroth index, we have zero. In the first index, one index, we have two. In the two index, we have four. In the three index, we have six, and so on. You can you know, use whatever calculation or call whatever function you want in here as long as it matches whatever type. It doesn't have to be int, it doesn't have to be nullable int, it could be string, for example, where we change it to string and we just store high in every one and maybe say include the index. Whatever you want um, to be stored in there, you can use with these filled or generate functions. So that's a few ways to uh, migrate your code from pre-null safety to null safety um, when using the default list constructor. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out in the comments or on the unofficial Dart Community Discord linked in the description, and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.